Hi. Um, so when you're reserving your URLs and coming up with these URLs all the time, are you boxing them in? Are you doing the CA, the .net, the .org, .com? Yeah. Um, honestly, I, less and less do I really care what the extension is because my experience is that the .com is gone. I can get the .net ranked like that, and I could care less whether I have the .com, .net. At the end of the day, they're, they're clicking a link in a search engine. So. The, the, the retention is fine if you need you know, your, your eBay.com or your brand where you want them to remember you're doing billboard ads and they have to remember by the time they get home what your address was, the, the mic again. But, but in my world, the keywords are what matter. It could be a .tc or I, I could care less, I'll get them right. Yeah, because if you were to do that, that's investing a whole lot of money tied up in yeah. URLs. And, um, I, I mean, so I still try I, to get the .com if I can get the .com, but, but honestly, out of those 50 sites in our network, probably 15 of them are .ca or .net, or so because if you I'd rather only, get liveintoronto.net than, than not If you have. can only get one, you're okay with that, but what if you can get them all? Do you go and get them all? Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> again, in the, um, can you do Mount Pleasant real estate? Because this is, this is an example where we have, uh, oh, there you go. Uh, so here's, here's an example where, and I, I may have opened my mouth too quick there, but at the top you can see we've got living in Mount Pleasant. And if you slide down a little bit more, oh no, it just, it's gone off the site there. There's Rick's. Go to, go to page two. Let's see if it's moved on to there. We have ones where we registered, malt, yeah, oh, there's Strathcona coming up. Um, oh, it's, it's bumped off. Uh, Anyway, we have, we have examples where we have, you know, live in Mount Pleasant .com and .net and they're both showing up on, in the search engine. So even though they're, that whole thing of duplicate content and Google penalize you and all that kind of stuff, I, I'm sure it does have an effect, but I have lots of examples. Again, Strathcona and Mount Pleasant, you saw, those are, those are both coming up from Mount Pleasant. Same sites, very similar content. Most of the stories are, are showing up on all of those sites. A and and they, uh, they, yeah, they have no problems ranking basically. So, um, so yeah, more is merrier in my, <laughs> in, in my psychology is, uh, again, it's more places for Google to, to find you. A quick question here. I got a lot of friends that are realtors uh, in the real estate business. What would be a real quick example of an elevator pitch I'd give them for your uh, product here? A uh, real quick example of an elevator pitch. Jeez, that's great. I should have, uh, I should have had that one ready. Um, I, I basically just, I give them exactly what I, what I said. If they're, if they're trying to optimize for their name, you know, and most of them it's, you know, johnsmith.com or whatever their, their name is, uh, it's just the psychology of, ask them, if you're looking for a house in West Vancouver, what do you think people are searching into, typing into the search engine? And if they say their name, you need to, you know, sort of give them a shake. But, but most of them are smart enough to go, oh, uh, yeah, they're typing West Vancouver home. So, you know, here's, here's a way that you can be the guy who owns all the homes in West Vancouver. That's it. actually, and I didn't talk about this with, when I was talking about Rick's thing, but the other big leverage sort of psychology thing that we got over with him was most realtors think about, these are my listings. I represent these five listings and this is what I have to sell and here's my listing. And really at the end of the day, they have a reciprocity agreement where every listing in the city is their listing. Right? They're allowed to sell every listing. So why are they standing there with the, here's my two listings, and if you want to find another listing, go off here to MLS and hopefully you'll make your way back to us. So, so again, these sites for the agents mean that they represent every single listing in that neighborhood and are able to get found for every single listing in that neighborhood and not just the three that they're representing. And, and that was a major psychological kind of shift that when, when Rick started sort of realizing the bigger picture of, oh yeah, I, I am, I'm the guy for all of Strathcona, not just these three listings that I have, uh, it, it had a very dramatic effect on, on his business. Uh, so that would be how I would, I would pitch it to a realtor, is, is the, the name sort of psychology of, of the community and the fact that they represent, they, they get tied to the community much more closely uh, you know, because they, they are now associated to every business, every real estate listing in, in that neighborhood. And for a realtor, that's, that's, that's the name of the game for them. They want to be Mr. Kitsilano or Mrs. Strathcona or, you know, whatever. Any other questions? Hello, thank Hello. you. Hello. Um, anyway, I want to just say Rick's site is excellent because it also makes him instantly an expert in heritage homes. 
just because of the Strathcona um, area. And also what you've done great on his site is it has floor plans. That's <laughs> yeah. real special. Yeah, well, we, we, we do. We give them ways to, to showcase floor plans and visual tour. A lot of stuff that they use, other agents end up linking off to, you know, oh, I got it done by this company. And so it's on their website if you want to see the virtual tour or the floor plans or whatever. Uh, again, I believe in keeping them on the site. Uh, a note actually about the heritage stuff. Rick's interesting because he uses a, a psychology where he actually doesn't want every listing on his name site. He goes through and manually picks the ones that he wants to show up. The Live in Strathcona site has all of the listings, but it gives him the ability to kind of have a differentiation between these, this is all of the community versus here's my picks, here's what I recommend. And again, it's creating that voice where, you know, he, as you said, he becomes an authority on, on homes of that type and therefore he attracts people who are looking for that type of home for a heritage house. In, you know, in Strathcona, he's definitely the guy, you know, within the real estate industry and he's become Mr. You know, heritage expert uh, guy and it's very much because he's selective about what he puts on his own site versus dumping the whole MLS, which is another, you know, well, what do you sell? Oh, I sell everything. No, you don't. You sell, you know, homes to pets or you sell, uh, you know, I mean, homes for that are pet friendly or you sell West, West End apartments or, you know, start nicheifying. It's like any other internet marketing business. You wanna, you wanna be more specific than, yeah, I can sell you a home in, in West Vancouver and, and in Ladner, right? Because obviously you have no expertise in either one at that point. Hey, Riel, uh, we, we've touched upon, uh, uh, let's just do one more, one more round of uh, examples because I, I think this is really relevant to, I mean, obviously I'm biased, but uh, I know, I've known your business for four or five years. Obviously, I'm a client. I'm a big fan of it. So, uh, so it, is, it is a bit of a plug, but rightfully so. I think it applies to just about any business owner. We've touched upon real estate quite a bit. Uh, we start with burlesque, which was interesting. Can we, do, uh, can we do another example? Maybe pick someone from the audience. Let's do another niche that's completely different. I think Harry wants to have uh, his his done. Sure. Lingerie. Oh well, we could like. Let's 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 plug that. Ooh la la. Was it ooh la la? There you go. Ooh la la. Corn free diet. Corn free diet. Oh, that's that's that's. Uh, I don't know how many Amazon products and uh, you know ClickBank products. Really? All right. Well, let's do a do an Amazon search on corn free diet. Uh, actually, it's interesting. I'm doing. I'm working on a site right now with a client. It's called SodiumWise.com, and his whole sort of mantra is. And actually, it's phenomenal because since I started working with him a few months ago, suddenly it's all over the media now. The 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 government's issued, uh, you know, warnings that we're all eating too much salt, and there's like a both in the states and in Canada, there's a real uh, mission to to reduce the amount of salt that people are using. Um, so what are, we, what are we doing here? Corn free, corn free diet, sure. Uh, put them in books or I don't care, whatever. <laughs> uh, and let's see what, what we get here. Uh, actually, why don't we, you guys like learning new tricks, right? Um, let's, let's do a couple of, you wanna show them a pipe? Go find some corn, corn free diet stuff on, on Yahoo Pipe. This is, this is one of my favorite little secret tricks here is instead of uh, pulling one feed off of someone. Anybody here heard of Yahoo Pipes before? Any geeky programmer guys like me? Uh, yeah, one. <laughs> uh, Yahoo has this, has this service that lets you kind of cherry pick, shall we say, uh, all of the uh, feeds that are out on the internet, eBay, uh, whatever you want. So you can create these, uh, these, these pipes that, that pull a whole bunch of stuff together and then you know, search for corn-free diet news, for example. So we could pull a, uh, a feed. Can you bring up the aggregator one? Oh, look, you're, you're logging in. Um, so again, remembering that we can take an RSS feed and then republish that into our blog engine so that it's, you know, it's not a, a little feed on the sidebar. It's full content in, in your blog. So pipes is one of my favorite uh, uh, tools because I can then set up, th this is a news aggregator we've set up to, to go look at Yahoo and, and uh, Google News and, and a few other sites, CNN and that kind of stuff. And so you type in a few keywords and, and hit run pipe and this should now return us stories with corn free and diet in there. Now sometimes it works better than others depending on the subject matter and 
a uh, few other things. But, but the idea here is that it will go and find stories to do with corn-free uh, diet and give me a new feed that's pulling from those seven or 10 or whatever feeds that we've done. And, and I can then take that feed, plug it into our system, and every